Welcome to iLecture Online. Now here we have a very interesting approximation method to find the eigenvectors of a matrix. Now we know how to do it typically. What we would normally do is find the eigenvalues first and then use those eigenvalues to find the corresponding eigenvectors. But there's another way. There's an approximation method. The way we can do this is take the original matrix and multiply it times a starting matrix. So we'll start with 5, minus 3, 6, and minus 4, and multiply this matrix by a 1 times 0. Now that is not the eigenvector, but let's see what happens when we multiply this. So this becomes the following. This becomes 5, so 5 plus 0, so that is 5 here, and this becomes 6 plus 0, and a 6 here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the matrix again, but now with the new resultant of the product of those two. So we'll take the so original six matrix, and minus five. 4, and I'll multiply it times this original result. So 5 and 6, and see what we end up with. So we have 25 minus 18, so 25 minus 18, that's 7. And here we get 30 minus 24, which is 6. Now notice, here we had 5 sixths, here we get 7 sixths. Now both of those are relatively close to a one-to-one -one relationship. So the suspicion is that the eigenvector is 1 and 1. But we're not sure yet, so let's go one more step. So we take the matrix again, 6, 5, and negative 4, and I'll multiply it times 7 and 6. And let's see what we get this time. So we get 35 minus 18, that would be 17 here, and 42 minus 24, 42 minus 24, that is uh, 18. 18. Notice that 17 and 18 are much closer to one-to-one -one correspondence than 5, 6, and 7, 6. So it looks like it's beginning to zero in to what we think the result is, that the eigenvector vector is indeed 1, 1. So that's what we're suspecting. At this point, you say, well, I've gone far enough. If I now multiply this matrix times 1 over 1, or 1 and 1, 1 for the x value and 1 for the y value in my vector, and I get 1, 1 again, or at least a multiple of 1, 1, a ratio of 1, 1, then uh, I know I've definitely found the correct eigenvector. But let me go one more step and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and take minus five. 4 and multiply this times 17 and 18. At this point, I may need a calculator. Well, let's see what happens. 5 times 17, that's 85, minus, hmm, that would be 54, 85 minus, uh, let me Otherwise, get a calculator. My brain is going to get too tired here. So 5 times 17, so 17 times 5 equals 85, and that's minus 3 times 18 is indeed 31. So we get a 31 here. And over here we get 17 times 6, and that's a minus 4 times 18, and we get 30. So again, notice that the ratio gets to be closer and closer and closer to one to one ratio. So finally, I'm going to check this out. I'm going to take 6, 5 minus, minus 4 three. and see if that's indeed that this is indeed the eigenvector. So when I multiply this together, I get the following I get 5 minus 3, which is 2, I get 6 minus 4, which is 2. 2 to 2 is, of course, a 1 to 1 relationship. So indeed, that is the eigenvector of this particular matrix. Now, it's not the only eigenvector, and later on we'll show you how to find all of the eigenvectors of a particular matrix, but this is definitely a good way to see that this is one of the eigenvectors. Now you say, well, you started with 1, 0. What happens if you start with 0, 1? Well, give it a try and see what happens. So next, we're going to take the same matrix again, 5 Six. and minus 4. And instead of starting with the original matrix of 1, 0, we'll start with 0, 1. And let's see what that gives us. So that's 0, minus 3. And that's 0, minus 4. And then we use that as our next multiplication, so 5, minus 4, minus multiply that times minus 3, minus 4, and see what we get. So we get minus 15 plus 12, that's minus 3, and that's minus 18 uh, plus 16, that's minus 2. Hmm, 
So here it went from 3 and 4 to 3 and 2. All right, let's go one more step. Let's see what we get. 3, 6, and five, minus 4. Nine. Multiply times minus 3 and minus 2. And the following we get, that's minus 15 plus 6. Minus 15 plus 6 is minus 9. And here we get minus 18 plus 8, that's minus 11. So now notice that's minus 9 over minus 11. If I multiply both the top and the bottom by a minus 1, I get 9 and 11. That's very close again to 1 and 1. I'm beginning to suspect that I'm again zeroing in on that same uh, eigenvector. So let's do this one more time. 6 and minus Five, 4. Minus three. And we multiply that times minus 9 minus 11. And let's see what we get. So that's minus 45 plus 33, minus 45, that's 22, that's minus 22. And here we get minus 54 plus 44, 54, 44, ah, let's see here. That's uh, plus minus 44, that's minus 10. Now I'm getting a 2 to 1 ratio. May that be the other eigenvector? Well, let's continue one more step and see if that's indeed the case. So because I know there's two different eigenvectors, so we have a 5, minus 3, 6, and minus 4. Let's multiply that times minus 22 and minus 10 and see what we get. I think I need a calculator in this case. So we get minus 110 plus 30. Uh, let's see, minus 100 plus 30, that's uh, minus 80. And here we get... Oh, let's see here, 6 times uh, 22 minus, that's minus 132, and that would be plus 40 equals, and that's minus 92. Now I'm back to a very close 1 to 1 ratio again. Hmm, so I'm ping-ponging from a 2 to 1 ratio to a 1 to 1 ratio. It turns out that the other eigenvector is indeed a 2 to 1 ratio. So let's check to see if that's indeed the case, because I have this one right here. So I'm going to multiply 5 minus 3, 6, and minus 4. So what's happening is it seems to be ping-ponging between a 2 to 1 and a 1 to 1 ratio. So let's see if a 2 to 1 is indeed what I'm looking for. So this is uh, equal to 10 minus 3, which is 7, and that's 12 minus 4, which is 8. And nope, that is not the correct eigenvector. So it looks like I'm zeroing in again to a one-to-one -one ratio, which is the what they call the dominant eigenvector. It almost doesn't matter what my initial starting point is. It almost always seems to zero in on this particular ratio, which that is then called the dominant eigenvector of this particular matrix. And that's how we find it.